How's it? Today is Tuesday, August 24th. It's a back squat day, and I am just going up in weight today. Last week I did 325 for five sets of five. It was pretty damn hard. I didn't feel like I was positionally correct, and I didn't feel like I was strong, and I didn't feel like I was quick or fast. Whereas uh, normally I feel all of those things when I'm squatting for, especially when I'm pushing weights. So today pushing to 335, I did not know whether or not I would be able to do it. Uh, luckily though, I found myself um, feeling strong again, you know, or at least uh, in, in the positions that I was ending up hitting. I think one thing that I thought about today was moving my feet a little bit wider uh, at the just uh, for the squat. I don't know why. I, it just felt like that was the right thing to do. Um, it's really hard to tell here, but I think that is what I ended up doing um, as far as foot width goes. Here is my last warm up. Yeah, it's pretty good, like overall. My first set here. You know, I've definitely handled a lot heavier weight a lot quicker than this for the same amount of reps and the same amount of sets, but I am very happy with today. I was able to make all of the, the reps. You know, it didn't all look great, but overall, no misses. Um, for some reason here, my phone or I guess my GoPro didn't record I think I pressed the record on my phone I saw the light blinking red and then it uh, just didn't show up afterwards so that is something that happened but my third set is here the speed that I have down is not reflected in the way that I push out of the hole so that is something that I do think I should think about as far as tempo goes some of the lifts are very fast down extremely slow up but tempo like that one was solid for me in my opinion you know like even on the way down even on the way up I don't think it should necessarily be be quicker on either end of the lift I think that sometimes the quickness does help but sometimes it a lot of times for me specifically it makes it way worse just because I am now going with uh, dynamic intention and I end up failing because I am out of position in a position where I normally would not have been here's my last set though I am generally pretty happy with this my best set or my best 5x5 five five is near 341 it's like not quite the the correct layout I think a, a couple months ago I did um, at 155 so that's 341 pounds I did two sets of five a set of four a set of five and then a set of seven so that's like a uh, the reason why I missed that third set of five um, was because I got distracted by some kids and then I was like, I don't want to waste the entirety of today, and I'm not going to go for a six set of five, so I will make this last set just a little bit harder. And so I ended up doing 27 total reps, but it's not a true five by five. So 335 today, um, prior to that 155, is the best I've ever done at five by five. I think I did it once in the past, um, 350 or 335. But that was, I think, probably last March, before COVID. Um, so here is my overhead press here for five sets of five at 150. Last week, I wasn't able to complete all five sets of five. So today's goal was just to get the five sets of five. It wasn't to, to increase the weight. And um, I did accomplish that. However, it did take me a long time to do them. I had to rest a tremendous amount of time in between each set. Nonetheless, I am happy with that. 
Um, and then after that, I moved into some weighted dips. I ended up... I wanted to actually try to do four plates today, but... Sadly, I failed on my um, rep of my set of five at 135 for three plates. Uh, you'll see it. You'll see it. <laughs> I felt so silly. But it's... It is what it is. I mean, things like this do happen. So here's my set at 135, which is three plates. I just simply could not push, and I just felt like such an idiot. At this point, I was like, uh-oh. Am I going to make five? So here's four, and then here is my fifth attempt here. Yeah, no way. No way, no way, no way. Uh, and then after that, I just finished off with some box jumps. This has the gray box in the middle there um i don't remember how high the, like i didn't remember how high it was until i actually sat down to jump on it and i was like uh i don't want to shame myself to uh take the middle box out so i just set set it up and just tried to do it uh it turned out okay and then after that i did some back extensions here with 40 pounds um, but yeah, today is was a pretty good day. Like overall, I did five by five on both of my lifts, and pretty happy with that. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Shoots.